If you're planning on creating a WordPress website, chances are you've been recommended to go with either Hostgator or Bluehost. What we're going to be doing in this video is comparing both of them. We're going to be comparing the performance, price, and giving an overall rank on which one is actually better. So if you're watching this video, you know, chances are you, you want to go with WordPress and I highly recommend you do so. You know, WordPress is definitely the easiest tool to use in order to build your website and it allows you to do so much other things and you know without the headache of doing all the coding yourself. Alright so it's super important to choose the right web host just because you know a web host is out there um, doesn't mean it's going to give you the best performance. Alright so we want to make sure that we get one that's going to give us the best performance possible which is going to help with SEO and overall site function. All right, so what we're gonna be doing in this video is comparing performance, price, and then I'm gonna give you my recommended one to go with, and also the best price to get that, along with a tutorial for setting up. All right, so, you know, Hostgator and Bluehost are probably the number one and two biggest hosting companies out there. You know, the majority of people do recommend both of these, but there is definitely one that's a lot better than others, and we're gonna get into that right now. Alright, so if you go over to the WordPress website, they actually do recommend one over the other. Alright, so if we go here to the WordPress um, recommended web hosting, we see that Bluehost is actually the number one recommended web host for WordPress. Alright, number two is DreamHost. Number three is SiteGround. Alright, so HostGator doesn't even show up on the list. Alright, so that's one red flag there. So, WordPress does recommend Bluehost instead of Hostgator, um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go into the pricing and also performance. So, if we go to the page here, and we're simply going to go and look at the pricing. This is the basic um, pricing for a basic plan. Both of them, for a 36-month plan, are $3.95 per month. So, the thing about Bluehost is they actually only have a 12 month, 24 month, and 36. So you can you have to prepay for a full year. So a 12 month is $5.95 per month. A 12 month with HostGator is $5.95 per month. So Bluehost is slightly cheaper on the 12 month term. The one benefit that HostGator actually has is they do have a monthly option. So that's $10.95 per month if you do want to go with a monthly. Um, Bluehost actually doesn't have a monthly option, which is one drawback for it. We're going to go with 12 months and we're going to compare the two. You know, we're going to do the basic plan at 12 months. These additional services you don't need, so we don't need them for either. And what we're going to see is the total for Bluehost for the 12 month plan is $65.40. If we come down to here and look at HostGator, our 12 month is going to be $86.40. The total for the hosting is the same, but the thing about Bluehost is they give you a free domain for a year. Whereas with HostGator, you have to pay for your domain name. All right, which is that it's about, you know, $15 extra. So that's where the difference comes into play. So one WordPress recommends Bluehost, that's one in favor of Bluehost. And then Bluehost is actually cheaper, which gives it two in favors. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare the performance. So we did a test um, you know, with a, a HostGator website versus a Bluehost website, same theme, and we pulled up the numbers and here's what we found. So performance, so we test HostGator and HostGator had a load time of 1.9 seconds and that was faster than 74% of tested sites. But the thing is Bluehost was actually 1.11 seconds and tested faster than 88% of tested websites. So it turned out that Bluehost was actually cheaper and it actually performed better than HostGator. And another thing I'll add in there is I actually didn't like and wouldn't recommend HostGator at all. We can see that the performance wasn't as good. They were more expensive, but the thing is they take a long, long time to set up your account. Um, whenever I set my account up, 
it literally took over three days for them to fully set up my account. With Bluehost, it was much shorter. And the support staff with HostGator was no help whatsoever. For that reason, you know, I would highly recommend you stay away from HostGator and Bluehost is definitely the better option. So the verdict, obviously the winner is Bluehost. And if you want to get the cheapest price possible and also a tutorial on setting up with Bluehost, click the link down below and it'll take you to another video where you'll get everything you need. All right, so hope this was helpful and um, we'll talk soon.